This week on Cracked Science, from poison symbols to fashionable gummy bears, the many ways in which health quackery is marketed to men. Hey, this is Jonathan Jerry, and you're watching Cracked Science, the show from the McGill Office for Science and Society that separates sense from nonsense on the scientific stage. Movember is upon us, that one month every year when many young men pretend to care about charity, but really want to see if they can get away with growing a small animal on their face. Because, hey, we can always remove it in post-production if we don't like it. Jokes aside, Movember's goal is to get men talking about prostate cancer, testicular cancer, mental health, and suicide prevention. Life-altering health issues that your average men, like an English royal guard, does his best to ignore. <laughs> There are data showing that men, on average, do not seek out medical care as often as women do, and that a good proportion of men tend to wait until the last possible minute before going to see a doctor. Some of it has to do with how men are expected to behave in society as stoic, self-reliant titans. Interestingly enough, in African Americans, the main reason for this avoidance seems to be distrust of the medical system. Gee, I, I wonder what led to that. But whatever the reason is for men to avoid stepping into the reassuringly pastel-colored institutional hallways of a hospital, there is a solution, and it's the same solution young men have been using to avoid that awkward moment at the cashier when they have to pay for the box of snug-fit condoms. The Internet. That's right, our Lord and Savior, the Internet, responsible for such hits as Yahoo Answers Tackles Asperger Syndrome, and its follow-up, the Jean-Luc Picard facepalm meme, the internet is coming to rescue men's wellness from stigma. And in that space, there are potentially good ideas, like telemedicine or consulting a healthcare professional via video chat. And then there is nonsense, the hyper-masculine quackery, the malarkey on steroids, malarkey, if you will. And the king of malarkey is the embodiment of male insecurities, Alex Jones. I'm under chemical and biological attack. I'm pissed. I'm red-blooded and I hate murderers. I'm evil. He said it. Alex Jones, the host of InfoWars, will give you free conspiracy theories on the one hand and sell you male enhancement products with the other. If you're looking for superior vitality in your maleness, there's super male vitality with Suma Root, also known as the Russian secret, because Russian athletes use it to win although clearly Sumarut wasn't enough for them before the Winter Olympics. If you want to supercharge your mind, there's Brain Force Plus with black pepper fruit extract, chosen by Jones chemists to give it an extra kick, because nothing should go down your throat easily. And there's Living Defense. It contains black walnut, which research suggests can oxygenate the blood to create a hostile environment to harmful organisms. You know how when you give patients a lot of oxygen and they never ever get an infection when they're in a hospital? You might detect a trend here, aside from the smell of cow dung. The labels of many malarkey products capitalize on men's insecurities by boasting thick, wide, angular fonts, dark, masculine colors, warrior imagery, and even symbols of death. This is a carnitine supplement with a biohazard logo on it. I used to work in labs where that symbol was plastered everywhere, and it never meant put this in your mouth. Many of these supplements have never been shown to do what their labels are hinting at. They are based on pre-scientific traditions, pre-clinical studies, and a lot of wishful thinking. A year ago, BuzzFeed News worked with a laboratory to test some of Alex Jones's supplements. Supplements like Anthroplex. Ladies and gentlemen, Anthroplex is the newest addition. So again, am I a beach body? No. Am I Tarzan? No. Am I, you know, some Olympic swimmer? No. The point is I'm a big guy. I got more energy. I feel more crazed than when I was 20. Try the other products and see how good they work for you. So you could trust Mr. Not a Beach Body, or you could look at what the lab found out when they tested Anthroplex. When we look into the zinc dosage, it's so ridiculously low that you'd basically be buying a worthless product for $40. 
The claim that Anthroplex works synergistically with the powerful super male vitality formula in order to help restore your masculine foundation and stimulate vitality with its own blend of unique ingredients is fluff on multiple fronts. The market for malarkey, however, does not end at men's mega men, now with more men in the name, and Nutriseal freshness coating. It really spans the entire spectrum of masculinity. And Alex Jones beware, there is a new, progressive, inclusive, and somewhat metrosexual look for malarkey. Most guys start losing their hair by 35. But thanks to science, that's optional. And so are other man issues. Hims is an online company that sells men's wellness products using peach tones, phallic cacti, and a diverse cast of male models. It was started by Andrew Dudem, who wanted to offer men reliable beauty products that didn't break the bank. And I want to make one thing clear. I am not saying Hims and Alex Jones's Infowars are the same. They're not. Hims offers generic Rogaine and Propecia for male hair loss, as well as generic Viagra. And these drugs are not malarkey. Rogaine and Propecia, also known as Minoxidil and Finasteride, they can work for some men. Results vary. Some men achieve an observable regrowth, while others experience a slowing of additional hair loss. Keep in mind that if these drugs were miraculous, that guy talking about them on the HIMSS YouTube channel wouldn't look like that. And Viagra, well, yeah, it works. But HIMSS, which Fast Company has called unironically goop for men, goes beyond offering medical treatments for baldness and erectile dysfunction. They will sell you gummy bears. Not just any old gummy bears, magical, science-infused gummy bears. Gummy bears for your hair, gummy bears for your sleep, gummy bears for your heart, gummy bears for your immune system. The biotin they contain and the melatonin, phytosterols and vitamins, they are not cures for anything. Melatonin, for example, has good evidence when it comes to reducing significant jet lag, but for falling asleep faster, the evidence is rather unimpressive. But you wouldn't know that based on Dudem's interviews. We're not bullshitting them. We're not selling them snake oil. We're selling them stuff that works. It's really good cause and it's doctor approved. All you have to do is use it. Like their Morning Glow Vitamin C Serum or their Anti-Wrinkle Cream with Caffeine and Hyaluronic Acid. And look, I get how difficult it is to separate truth from malarkey. Hims clinical director is Arash Mostagimi, who has a master's from the Harvard Kennedy School, a medical degree from Harvard, and other masters from Harvard, and who is an assistant professor, guess where, at Harvard. All this Harvardness is impressive, but want to know what gives him away? How to see that what he's peddling on Hims is not science-based? It's all in the small print, and it is delicious. On the Hims website, there is an interview with Dr. Mostagimi. And at the very bottom, there's this disclaimer. The views expressed in this article intend to highlight alternative studies and induce conversation. What do you mean, alternative studies? Since when did scientists start doing alternative studies? There are scientific facts and there are falsehoods. That's it. You're saying it's a falsehood and they're giving Sean Spicer, our press secretary, gave alternative facts to that. It's 2018. I forgot. I'm sorry. Look guys, it's November. Don't keep it all in. Talk to your friends, talk to your siblings, talk to your doctor. There are science-based answers to male problems. But if you really want to believe in alternative facts, have a look at Green Lumber, an all-natural testosterone booster that will turn your sputtering rocket into a massive tree trunk. And this product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease, so you know it works. <laughs> In my opinion, very few men can pull off a mustache, but every man can pull off being better informed about his health and knowing where to go to ask for help, which is why I'm recommending the website Movember.com, especially their men's health section, and ultra especially their section on mental health, a topic that is still taboo in our society. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, do click that button and ring that bell to get notifications. Don't forget to subscribe to our weekly newsletter by going to mcgill.ca slash OSS. In the meantime, you can follow me on Twitter at Cracked Science and join us next time for science that may or may not be all it's cracked up to be.